Nowadays, scientists and engineers have huge volumes of information at their fingertips. Whilst this is extremely beneficial, it has its problems. When there are questions to be answered, how can they find the solutions amongst all of the data? The old approach would be to search through it all. The new approach is an evolutionary algorithm. An algorithm is a list of step-by-step -step instructions for the computer to solve problems. This algorithm is used to improve a variety of things, from fuel efficiency in airplanes to trading strategies. For example, with airplanes, evolutionary algorithm optimizes the shape, minimizes wing weight, and maximizes fuel weight to improve the overall efficiency of the airplane. This algorithm is based on evolution in nature and is a fast way to find a good solution without checking every possibility. To show how this algorithm works, let's say we want our computer to generate a creature which can walk the furthest. First, an initial population is randomly generated. Each individual has its own characteristics. We make the creatures walk and calculate the distance traveled for each of them. We then randomly select two creatures that perform well, generating a new creature. In the mating process, the child gets some characteristics from one parent and some from the other. A random mutation occurs, which slightly changes some of these characteristics. Using this process with several creatures, the next generation is created. The whole process is repeated multiple times. After each generation, the average distance traveled increases, because good characteristics are becoming more common. The evolution stops when there is no significant increase in average distance traveled by the creatures between two generations. We can assume that the optimal solution is found. In conclusion, although evolutionary algorithm doesn't check every possibility, it's a fast way to find a very good solution to problems with a lot of data.